car folks listen on the day that I made this video I had a very very private concern that I wanted to talk to the Lord about I asked him to sh show me how to talk to him about it and to make sure that I wouldn't be heard by anyone well well folks here is here is how he showed me to do it here's what I did I told him I have a very private concern I told him I told the Lord that he was the only one that I wanted my concern to be known I told him I didn't want anybody knowing about my concern but him I asked him for help in taking care of it and I just gave the concern to him so folks listen whenever you have any fear problem or concern just tell the Lord about it just say something like like I said just say Lord I have a concern I only want you to know about it I I said Lord please take care of it folks folks listen to me whenever you have any anything private that you want to talk to the Lord about that is how to do it Matthew Matthew 7 and John 14 both say asking you shall receive Titus 1 says the Lord cannot lie Malachi 3 says the Lord does not change Matthew 6 says if we forgive those that have sinned against us we will be forgiven but if we don't forgive them we won't be forgiven no need to thank me let me know if this does help you but if not no need to thank me and and if it does no need to thank me I'm just going to repeat one more time how I talked to the Lord about that concern I just said Lord I have a private concern that I don't want anybody other than you knowing about and please take care of it I give it to you in in Jesus name folks that is that is how to get all of your private concerns taken care of by the Lord as you may know I've wanted to learn Spanish for a long time and and the main reason I thought about it almost two years ago is because the last time or the time before last I, I saw my endocrinologist Dr. Smith I was overweight and right after that appointment my mom she took me to my gr grandpa's my mom was the one who was with me when I saw my doctor over over zoom but folks in the past when some other relatives have taken me to see that doctor in person in Lexington Kentucky which is two hours away from where I from where I live my my family used to drive me crazy when the doctor said I needed I needed to lose weight well the last time I saw my endocrinologist he said I needed to lose weight but thankfully my mother was the one who was with me that time but but since I was taken to my grandpa's right after that visit with my with my doctor my endo, my endocrinologist I, ne I needed to get some privacy and on that day I could not get a moment alone 
and that is why that is why I thought about learning Spanish one or two years ago but but on the very same day that I made this video I just learned how to take care of that kind of problem and I just told you how to do it I'm going to repeat that one more time and just say something like this Lord I have a private concern that I don't want anybody hearing about other than you and just say something like this Lord Lord I give my concern to you please heal it or please or please handle it I confess my sins I forgive those that have sinned against me I give that concern to you in 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 Jesus holy name folks I'm sorry I have repeated myself several times I just have to make myself clear to you so that way you won't have any fears of any kind ever again first first John 4 says perfect love casteth out fear so whenever you are with loved ones and you have something that that scares and or concerns you that you want to talk to the Lord privately about that you do not want your family knowing about that is how to talk to the Lord privately about this or about any concern no matter who you are with or how many people or how many people you are with never thank me let me know if this helps you and please share this video and please ask others to never thank me before you sh before you share this video with them thank you very much and also John 8 says Satan who is also called the devil is a liar and the father of lies Romans 10 says faith comes by hearing hearing by the Lord's word James James 1 says if we ask the Lord for wisdom he will give it to all people as long as we believe hope this helps you never thank me I'm sorry I'm sorry if my repeating myself has made you mad or bothered you no matter how bad in any shape form and or fashion Jesus lifted up the serpent in the wilderness even so must the son of man be lifted up that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved he that believeth on him is not condemned but he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God and this is the condemnation that light is come into the world and men loved darkness rather than light because their deeds